Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn to make lists in HTML. Alright? Now this is the web page that we have created. Alright? So we will add lists to this. So basically what I want to do is this. Okay? This. Now this is same page that we have done but with list okay so here i want this line all right along with this and then i want a list like this next i want a line like this and then i want a list like this okay now first we will do this okay and then we will do this all right now let me copy this let me copy this okay let me copy this now you have this available in the file that i have provided okay now i am going to minimize this and go to my website folder right click on chapter 1 and select open with and select notepad okay so if you see here after the first paragraph after the first paragraph we have this this and this all right so let me paste it below that so here ends our first paragraph let me hit enter twice and let me paste the items that i have copied okay now you can see that this is also a paragraph so let me wrap this in p tags okay p and this is also a paragraph so let me wrap this too in p tags okay and now i want this as a list now let me delete this let me delete this okay it doesn't matter if it is there too but let me delete it now in html we mainly have two types of lists ordered lists and unordered lists okay now this here is unordered list and this here is an ordered list unordered list have bullets okay unordered lists have bullets and ordered lists have numbers that is the only difference okay so when you have a list of items where the order does not matter you can go for unordered list whereas if whereas if you have a list of items where you want something to be first priority and next second priority or in other words you want to number the items of the list then you can go for order list okay now for saying to computer that we want an unordered list we use ul tags okay so ul and close the ul ul all right so from pregnancy till severe infections must be in the list correct so from pregnancy till se severe infections we want it to be in the list so that is why ul should start before pregnancy and the ending ul should be after severe infections okay now let me save this control s and let me go to this and let me click f5 to refresh all right so you see we have there are a number of this and this as paragraph and this as paragraph but this but this here is not according to what we want. 
correct so we want like this but here it has come like this that is because we just mentioned that we want an unordered list but we did not mention what the list items were okay so these are the list items and so we have to use li tags to mention it okay so li for mentioning the items of the list so this is the first item pregnancy and so we have to end it okay li so this is first item so let me save this and let me refresh it and you can see pregnancy has come with a bullet okay so let me do that to other items to li and once you open it you have to close it second one is done third one and let me copy this and quickly paste it so as to save your time okay so all the items of the list are now wrapped inside li tags now let me save this and let me refresh it so when i refresh it it comes as an unordered list and this is what we wanted correct this is what we wanted and that is what we have so this is how you create unordered list you yell all right next what do we have we have one more paragraph and then we have these all right so here if you look at it i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i have seven items in the list and then i have a b c d e under shock okay under shock i have these five so we have a list inside a list and having something inside something is called as nesting okay so we will do that too do not worry let me copy this entirely let me copy this and let me hit enter okay just to make it more readable so you must remember at this point that the white spaces do not matter so that means so giving these many enters does not matter in html so html ignores white spaces so you can give as many enters as you want so i'll paste it here i've pasted it here now i want this to be in the form of paragraph correct so i'll wrap it inside p tag okay and then uh, let me quickly delete this space here or let it be there uh, uh, let us not worry about it now i want ordered list and for ordered list the tag is ol okay so once you start it you must end it ol all right ol so ordered list starts from here and ends here that is what we are saying and these are list items so they have to be in li tags okay so li and closing li all right so let me save it and let me show you the result okay so some symptoms has come as paragraph and first we have dizziness later we have not used li tag so it has come like this so let me correct this so li i will paste it here okay paste it here and the ending li ending li so i will paste it here okay ending so let me save it and refresh it and you can see it has come as we want it correct so this is what we wanted and this is what we have let me resize it and show it to you okay so it has come properly but here we want this to be list inside this list correct so what we have to do is what we have to do is once again once again use ol okay ol and 
close the OEL here. So let me use enter. Okay. OEL. All right. Yeah. And now, uh, yeah. So I've opened an OEL. Yes, OEL and closed OEL. So these five are the items. These five are the items that I want inside this list. Correct? Second list. So they must also come within the OEL. Okay? Now, when computer reads this, it comes to, uh, it notices that we have OEL inside a OEL. And then it decides to give the indentation like this or spaces like this okay now here once again you need to use li okay li for all the elements all right so pardon the space yeah i'll paste like this so let me save it let me save it and let me refresh it let me refresh it and now i have a list inside a list so you can see one two three four five starts here six seven and here this list starts from one and goes till five okay now this is the output that we wanted and that is what we have now if you see here we have a b c d e instead of one two three four five or in other words we want a b c d e instead of one two three four five we do that by saying type in this ol tag okay in the second ol tag we say not type T Y P E type, all right, and then we say A because we want it to start from A, correct? Type is equal to A, and A must be inside quotes. Let me save it, and now let me refresh it, and I have A B C D E. Okay, now you can also say capital A, and let me save it. I did not save it. Yes and hit F5 and you get A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And you can say I. I. Save it. And it comes as Roman numerals. I, two I's, three I's, four and five. And you can change this to capital I too. Let me save it and refresh it and this comes in capital so according to your requirement you can change the type of the bullet okay so let me save it and refresh it this is what i want correct this is what i want and that is what i have here all right now this is the end but here i want to uh, show you something Assuming that assuming that this is an unordered list, all we need to do is change UL and UL. Okay, so this was supposed to be this. Okay, this was supposed to be this. So you can see it as indented everything i did not notice it i'm sorry for it for sorry for this uh, let me save it now it will come properly yeah i'm extremely sorry i did not notice this okay so we need to use ending tag we need to use forward slash here i did not use it i'm sorry for it now ul and ul okay so let me save it and you can see and you can see this is unordered list unordered list but inside we have ordered list okay unordered list and inside ordered list so you can change this to ul and ul okay 
let me save it and let me refresh it so here you can see solid bullets and here uh, normal circles all right you can go other way too you can have ordered list here ordered list and in between you can have unordered list all right so let me save this and refresh it and you have ordered list with unordered list all right so you can go ahead and experiment with this so that's it for this video go ahead and practice i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching